I'm Jennifer Jiggis. And I'm Nina McVeigh. Today we're going to talk about thread painting, and it's something that so many people are afraid of. They don't feel like they're artists, so they really don't know how to handle thread painting. So what I've done is purchased some pre-printed pieces that you find in needlework kits. This is really a nice way for people to explore thread painting without a lot of excess preparation to get going. Well, that's exactly right. Um, you purchase these, they're ready to go. It's a painted background, and yet there are pieces here that are left for embellishment, and we can do that at the machine. When you purchase a kit like this, I suggest that you keep the threads. Now, you're not going to use these on your sewing machine, but it's a great visual so you know what embroidery threads to pick out to match the intended colors if that is what you're going to do. So it takes all of the um, guesswork out and you're free to concentrate on learning the technique itself. Yes. And for those who've never done thread painting, it's like magic. You begin to feel like the artist, especially when you're doing something like this. When I go to my machine, I do like to thread my machine with two shades of thread. So I have two threads going through the needle. It will begin to fill in the area that you're painting with thread much faster. Well, it really adds a lot of depth to the color as well. It does, and it's like a paint, uh, an artist rarely uses one color paint on their brush. They often blend their colors on their brush, and that's what we're doing through the needle. You can see that I've interfaced the back of this with a fairly substantial interfacing to stabilize it. Now, because this fabric really has some good body to it, the interfacing is sufficient. There's no need for an additional traditional stabilizer. Correct. Um, when I bring it to the machine, again, this is a free motion technique. I'm using the Bernina stitch regulator, and I am using the zigzag mode. To get started, I'm just going to kind of find a place, find a petal that I want to begin with. I like to hold on to these upper threads so that they don't go anywhere. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how this fills in and how nice it looks because of the two shades that you have in your needle. Don't forget to stop and cut those threads that you were holding in the beginning so they don't get sucked into the design. Well, and in addition to your different colorations that you're uh, seeing with the two different thread colors, adjusting your zigzag stitch is another way as well to get some different texture in here. Yes, it is. And then once you've filled in one petal, you're just going to go around and fill in the rest. And again, using these pre-printed kits is so nice because it's all there for you. Your background is there and ready to fill in. And you really can't make a mistake. It's such an organic look to that type of stitch. And if you think you've made a mistake, you can simply go over it again. You can see on the one that I've already started, the stitching that has filled in, the shading that's happened because you have those different colors of thread in the needle. This is really a great way to play with a lot of different colors and mix your shades just to see what types of effects that you can achieve. Uh, also, you could use this as the wrong side so that when you flip it over when the piece is done, similar to bobbin play, you now have a beautiful effect on the opposite side without having had to mark anything. If you would like to explore more thread painting techniques, visit your local Bernina dealer today. Mm -hmm.